uh, I'm Asma Ahmed uh, from Bethlehem. Uh, I finished uh, high school in uh, 2007. Then I started my med school. Uh, after six years, I graduated, uh, took my internship at the Jala Hospital. And then I uh, get employed at the uh, Ministry of Health, at the primary health care uh, center, or primary health care in Bethlehem. Um, where I heard about family medicine and family medicine residency from my colleagues. I, ve I get very excited and I like the idea. Uh, at that meantime, the Ministry of Health um, uh, provided us a scholarship. Uh, I applied for that and fortunately I get accepted. Uh, I was very happy. Uh, and the journey of my family medicine residency started two years ago um, at Al Najah University. Uh, the team uh, that uh, taught me was uh, Lubnan Saudi, uh, Dr. Suha, Dr. Zahir, uh, Dr. Khaled, Dr. Bishara, Dr. Suad. Um, I go to Al Najah University once weekly uh, and to get the academic part. Uh, the residency was uh, in uh, and still uh, at um, uh, the hospitals in Alia, in Ramallah, and um, in Rafidia, uh, in Abbas. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are 15. Uh, we get um, uh, every uh, five or six uh, in a uh, hospital. Um, what else would you do? Okay, so uh, what parts of the course are you finding the most useful or interesting? Okay, all the courses were useful. All, all the courses um, uh, taught me the concept of family medicine. I didn't know the concept of family medicine uh, until I took the courses of family medicine. And also, um, I was interested in the continuous part of education that we get by um, the MAP and uh, the Al Najah University, like the communication course and this uh, leadership course. And I'm very happy about it. Uh, what do you like about the way that the course is delivered? Um, very good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are as a team and they, we get engaged in mm -hmm. the course, mm -hmm. in the learning process, and uh, they give us questions to answer and we, to be the, a part of uh, the learning process, and this is very good. Um, so you recently passed the, the first part of your uh, specialist exam. Yes. So, uh, Mabrook. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, how was that experience and uh, can you describe how it went? Um, the experience was difficult, but uh, um, because we took very uh, monthly exams at uh, Al Najah University, we were very well prepared. And uh, we, as a team, uh, we are uh, now 13 family residents. Uh, we work as a team and we studied with each other. And this uh, helped us a lot. Uh, what are you looking forward to about starting your training uh, in the clinics? Yeah. Uh, nowadays, we go for uh, primary health care centers uh, once a week. Uh, but in the next days, we will, be, um, um, we will have a rotation, family medicine rotation in the centers. Uh, I'm looking forward to have a strategy plan with my colleagues who were graduated and they are family doctors uh, to apply the family medicine concept in uh, the clinics. Um, it's, uh, we have um, a lot of challenges in the clinics because we are starting new relationships with new patients, uh, with different cultures and it, in a different community. It's a very way from our houses and from our uh, primary health care center that I have been training for two years now um, and having um, uh, a new uh, adventure, let's say. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the long distance and uh, our political situation, which is unique in Palestine, mm -hmm. to have um, occupation and Israeli uh, checkpoints mm -hmm. that prohibit us from getting to the centers at the exact what time that we have to be there. Uh, is also a big challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I wish to have uh, uh, family medicine clinics in every city and to apply the concept at a, 
uh, and to spread the concept of family medicine in the population because they still the population don't differentiate between uh, a general practitioner and a family doctor. Uh, what difference do you think the family medicine program will make in Palestine? Uh, um, okay, the the big uh, difference is to have a prevention preventive care, to have a lifestyle lifestyle changes, um, not only to have a diagnosis and treatment. It's not only disease oriented. It's patient and family oriented, um, to have it continuous. We as um, family doctors, we see the patient continuously every month uh, for giving uh, information, to give care, to give medicines uh, for hypertension and diabetes. Uh, we have the, the role and to be role models uh, for our patients. Yeah, and finally, how do you think the skills that you are learning on this course will make a difference when you are working as a family doctor? It will have a big uh, difference um, because family medicine is about a continuous, comprehensive, contextual and um, coordinated care. We have to be coordinated as family doctors in primary health care centers, which is Will be, which will become a referral center for the hospital with a tertiary care uh, to have uh, the biggest role in the life of our patients. And um, uh, to have, when we have this concept real in life, we will have um, uh, uh, the biggest impact on our patients. We will be the leaders uh, to, in the right way. The, d the disease will be less. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.